before I move to the next lecture which is integer and double input I quickly want to show you something we printed this variable here which stores the user input using this dollar sign and curly brackets we can as well print this without using this curly brackets and dollar sign only if we don't have this here uh, maybe we don't want to add any other text or words inside this same place that's when we can just print only this name without including a curly bracket so like i said earlier it's because there are some other things we are writing that is why it is a special character so we need to use this dollar sign and curly bracket to call this so we can see i can still come at the back of this i can still write some other thing we can see welcome welcome the user inputs whatever the user inputs uh, i will say we are pleased to have you here okay so when we still run this code again you can see that when i enter my name as frank and when i hit enter it says welcome frank we are pleased to have you here okay so there are some situations in which i can just print only this frank without adding any uh what was it called without adding any curly bracket or dollar sign so i could i could have just said print name oh sorry i'll say print name then i'll just add my semicolon so when I get rid of this and run the code again, you see that it's only going to print the name or whatsoever I enter. It just printed the name which is Frank. If I run this code again and enter any other name, let's say Wilson, it's going to return Wilson. Then in a situation whereby you just want to write some other stuff maybe welcome frank or whatsoever welcome or whatsoever that is when we need this so here i will add this then i'll say welcome then at the end here i will still add this again so when we print this now we are not going to get whatsoever that is stored in here because we did not uh we did not use those special characters to write this name so when i hit enter here you just said welcome name are you getting it so when i then come here add this special character which is dollar sign add a curly bracket also come here and close the curly bracket so when i then print this we have uh our name printed out so it says welcome frank i'll move to the next uh lecture which is uh integer collecting user input for integer and double so i will say int then i'll add a question mark to check if it's not level then i will give it any variable name so i can say num1 and i'll say num1 is equal to then I will say int dot pass int dot pass and I will open the parenthesis then inside this parenthesis this is where I am going to call this uh, standard input which is stdin so let me quickly show you uh, uh, I'll say standard input standard input so which which is also stdi n so here what i'll do is inside this place i will then say 
stdin dot readline sync this read line sync here then open and close parentheses then now this code is not going to run it's going to be returning error so why is because this is not null level remember when beginning we'll just check if it's null level so because it's uh, an integer or a double stops we need to check if it's null level or not so at the end here before closing this we can come here and enter an exclamation mark so we'll enter this here and at the end here we'll enter our semicolon so we can just change this to enter a number okay so when we run this code it will ask us to enter a number and when we enter 13 nothing is going to come out nothing is going to show because we did not ask the computer to do any other thing after executing this code so when i hit enter it stops executing nothing happens again so i'll quickly come down here and print it out and say print uh let's say we'll say your number is number one the number is then we use the special sign of dollar then we we'll come here and say number one then at the back here we'll add our semicolon so when we run this code again and we enter 13 so you see your number is 30 so it's just a common thing and a basic something that we needed to understand in computer pro um that programming then talking about a double data type you can as well come here and change this to double then we'll come down we also change this one to double so when we we'll try to run this code again oh so remember that this uh letter type has to do with two decimal numbers so i will say 3.5 so when i hit enter it says your number is 3.5 uh, so that's just all for this check out the next lecture where i'm talking more about all these and where i am using them to do something that is more advanced